What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about actually a few different things, a few different business models that I think coming into 2019, uh we're already in February, so a bit late, but that's okay. Coming into 2019, profitable and popular business models. Now, the first thing that you guys need to know, right? Profitable business models are not always the most popular business models, okay? Um, a lot of the times, the crowd will run to a particular business model when you can still make a lot of money from that, but it may not be the most profitable one that you can get into. Actually, before we get started, quick update. I got a cool license. This is actually the highlight of my day. So, I mean... That's kind of depressing, but I thought this was pretty cool. So, moving on to the video now, guys. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about three particular business models that I think you should be doing in 2019, regardless of what your experience level, your age, whatever that is. Just these three, anyone can get into, and anyone can do, and anyone can operate profitably. Okay. Now, the first one um, is the, the first one is literally branded. Okay, branded e-commerce branding. Okay, I know you guys. You're like, oh, okay, this is I, I knew this one. But I want to say, like, not necessarily just drop shipping, right? So drop shipping has been a very hot keyword lately. It still is. A lot of people are doing it. A lot of people are getting into the industry. But what you need to realize is that in 2019, there's like markets always change. I've always preached that you need to learn to adapt. You need to learn to grow. And if you don't, then you die. Literally. So with that being said, you need to be branded. You need to be like doing custom e-commerce. What I mean is like you want to look into holding your own inventory, using your own fulfillment service. Because if you think about it, drop shipping, right? What, what is it? What's so attractive about drop shipping, right? You think about that. It's no inventory, very little capital, stuff like that. But if you're actually doing branded e-commerce and like holding inventory with the fulfillment center and stuff like that, like a warehouse. <laughs> You're technically like you don't have a lot of inventory hassle on your end. A lot of people that promote dropshipping, right? They say, oh, there's no inventory hassle, blah, blah, blah. Like you're just middlemaning stuff. You send it from, you know, the supplier straight to the customer. And yes, that, that's a very easy business model and it works and people can make a lot of money from it. Now, what you gotta notice is one, shipping times are very, very long. People are getting sort of accustomed to it. People that have had bad experiences in the past with other online stores, if they see anything remotely similar to that on your site, just purely on a psychological basis, they're gonna associate that bad negative experience from that old store that's not even in relate like not related to you at all with your store which can hurt you okay now i'm not saying that's a huge problem right now that's something you got to keep in mind now if you're doing your own brand your own e-commerce like one you, you have complete control over everything every single touch point that your customer sees before becoming your customer right a potential customer you are in control of okay a lot of people drop shipping okay you're not doing custom content you don't have full control of your site you don't have full control of your logistics and your fulfillment and your back end your you know your your packaging inserts your packaging in general like your actual unboxing experience and the brand identity behind your company, you don't have control over that, okay? You're middlemanning something and you can make a lot of money off of it, okay? Don't get me wrong, like that, it can be very, very profitable, but I think moving into 2019, you're gonna see a lot of other people do this where they move into actual branded e-commerce, okay? They're holding inventory, they're working with 3PLs, pick and pack centers and warehouses that can auto ship their inventory, handle returns, that can literally take their own packaging and actually combine the packaging with the product and add the inserts because that doesn't come together. You have to work with multiple suppliers, right? A packaging supplier, an insert supplier, your actual product supplier, it all comes together. You can ship all that to a warehouse, they'll send it for you, they'll ship it out, they'll handle returns, all that jazz, okay? And that's where I think a lot of people are gonna be moving into 2019, I've already seen that, um, and that's where I think you should be looking into at least, or at least considering that, okay guys? Because you have so much more control over everything. Again, with your own brand and with your own, you know, if you're doing e-commerce by yourself, I mean, your biggest competitor in the terms of e-commerce is is Amazon. They are a cost market leader. Like, like everything for them is like, you can get, you can, they, they beat you in price, they can get things very fast to you, okay? You can't try and compete with that, you're just gonna hurt yourself, you're gonna spend a lot of money uh, and waste it. Now, your angle is, again, your brand, your brand's identity, okay? Your content, the, the actual, again, the touch points that you have between your customers, you have full control over that spectrum of everything and you need to be capitalizing on that. And by moving into branded e-commerce, that's what you're able to do. Now, number two, the second profitable and popular, I think it's going to be more popular, is again, just an agency. Now, when, when you say a marketing agency or anything like that, most people think social media marketing just because I think Ty Lopez was one of the biggest guys to kind of blow that thing up and kind of make that almost like a mainstream thing um, in terms of that like everyone's like oh, okay i do smma i do marketing right um and a lot of people that do that they're actually they're actually white labels which will bring me to my, my third topic later but they're, they're not actually doing the marketing themselves they're just outsourcing it to another third party that's actually doing the marketing but what i'm saying with that that can be actually really 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 profitable guys is having an agency that's not necessarily just doing mark like going very niche or niche into an agency okay if you're doing a marketing agency that that's very broad right you're gonna go up to a client like oh what do you do well, i do this 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 how many clients do you have zero okay they're, they're 
be reluctant to hire you. But if you go and you're prospecting, you know, local restaurants or local businesses, even online businesses, okay, but you do one thing and you do one thing very, very well, for instance, lead generation, like that's it, then they have a much higher chance of hiring you. You can still charge a relatively large retainer. Again, think about it. You can charge a thousand, fifteen hundred a month just to do lead gen for a company, okay? And also all you're doing then is like you only have one main focus and that is paid ads to get leads to a business rather than doing a whole spectrum of everything that some of you guys are trying to do with agencies because I get a lot of people that DM me and they're like, I own this agency, I do this, 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 and this. And I ask them, it's like, okay, how many clients do you have for all this stuff? And like they, they don't either, they don't have clients or they have clients that only want like a few things. Now you can eventually build yourself out into a full service agency. But again, that takes a very big team behind you that takes a few clients that fund that, that team and everything that goes into actually building out an agency. I think this is gonna be very, very profitable, especially for people that are doing like pure legion, right? You're doing a 15 a month retainer you sign what seven eight nine clients which is not that hard guys like again you can you can make yourself a five figure business in the span of three months okay i've helped guys do that and again if you're on a 1500 a month retainer okay getting one or two clients a month okay like that's slow but you can still do it then like you're, you're already at what you're at 3000 a month on that on your very first month if you sign two okay then you're moving into month two and you get two more that's you're at 6000 a month and then from there you're at 9000 a month and then you know you're moving on and on and on and then obviously eventually you'll get to a point where you want to be scaling you want to have someone that does outreach that closes clients and then you're actually just you know doing the work or you have someone that you train to do the work while you do that outreach again this is all like about building out an agency but you got to focus on one thing first so you can make money and then use that to hire out or to expand into other offers and services that you can provide for your clients, okay? Now, moving into this last one, guys. This is the last one is, it, it's broad, but in a good way for, for anyone watching this video that's still watching this video, I think this last one is actually really, really important. Um, it's literally, again, this is what I think is gonna be very popular in 2019, it's white labeling. What I mean by that is like, cause it, again, when you think about white labeling, a lot of people think about e-commerce and the products, like actually white labeling products, okay? That's not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this. When I'm saying white labeling and how this is gonna be popular, I'm talking about like SaaS, softwares, services, people white label agencies. That's why I said earlier, let's come back to this one, the third one. By white labeling an agency, again, you're you're basically, you're almost, drop, like you're basically dropshipping, you're middlemanning shit. You're literally middlemanning an entire business though, not products, okay, if that makes sense. So when you're actually white labeling a service, okay, for instance, again, we talked about lead gen in the actual agency. Now, if if you went to a lead gen company and offered to white label their services, again, you like most of like, if you are going to do this, guys, I would talk to the company that you're trying to white label and actually work out a deal because then you can get better rates rather than just getting clients and then immediately like signing them and then paying the other company because then you're going to be paying more out of your pocket. So again, relationships, connections, all that jazz. But actually white labeling a service, I think is going to be very, very popular. Um, I don't think it's something that you should be doing in the long term, nor do I think it's very sustainable in the long term. Um, but it will get you some money in your pocket for the next few months. It'll allow you to use that money to invest into, you know, not white labeling and starting your own agency, building out your own team, stuff like that. But I think that is also going to be very, very popular in 2019, um, just with kind of like how technology is, how openly available it is, and how easy it is to get things automated and delegated out. It, it should be fairly easy to white label a program just because there's a lot of people actually starting agencies. And if you don't want to start an agency, there's people that are going to white label your service. So again, if you are going to start an agency though, you can find people to white label your service, offer them a little bit of a wholesale rate. And now you have someone that's really just getting clients for you. And then you're just fulfilling on your end. Okay. So again, it, it all works and plays very well together, guys. But those three things I think are going to be sort of the biggest areas of not even popularity, but just where you can profit this year in 2019 without you know worrying about anything that's too saturated or you know too many comp like too many competitors too much competition like these three things you should not really have to worry about that if again you, you remember narrow down and niche down focus on one one thing get really good at it build up a little bit of a clientele around that okay and then you can expand and grow whereas again if we go back to the first topic branding right with branded e-commerce stuff like that again you're going to focus on one or two product variants okay before actually expanding your product range because again you're holding inventory you're not testing a thousand different products you're not doing that you're building out a brand you're capitalizing on emotion custom content all that jazz okay so that's really the the three things i really want to talk to you guys about and i think that are very very important i want to get the information out to you guys and hopefully give you guys a bit of an idea of what you can be doing going into this and again if you ever need help uh, you can always DM me on Instagram or do whatever if you need help actually building a brand I'm launching a branding service you might have you might see a link down, the, down in the bottom of this YouTube video maybe if you're lucky then you will see a link but other than that guys if you are watching this I hope you enjoy something I hope you learned something I hope you got a few ideas of what you can do and what you can pursue but yeah guys that's the video make sure to leave a like make sure to drop a comment I respond to everybody's comments and make sure to subscribe I will see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed the lighting setup it's pretty fucking dope if you ask me and yeah guys the links in the description for basically every single thing follow me on Instagram and other stuff but yeah I'll see you guys next video all right shoots gang gang